Some of you may know me, Miss Geeky Kitty, and this is my official first Let's Play for Planet Unplugged. I decided to do Bioshock Infinite because Bioshock is my favorite gaming series of all time. So I have played the game one time before, so it won't be first time commentary. Instead, it will be trivia about the game with silence during important cinematic events so that you guys can get both my take on it and the actual game. So without further ado, let's get started. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing, growing. Rowing? I hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can you get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No. We're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. He's not moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? We might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. The thing I do like about this is it does parallel the beginning of the original Bioshock quite nicely. Same lighthouse, same everything. So let's go over here. Do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. And there's just blood on there, so why not? Why not knock, you know? Go for it. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me? I am so sure that this song's gonna get flagged for copyright, but uh, let's go for it. Good luck with that, pal. Something I do like is you actually get to see your character right off the bat, where in Bioshock you really- Is anyone here? Hello? You can really get that option. Just gather some supplies, look around. Kind of living quarters and whatnot, and I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was blood on the table, but yeah, that kind of confirms it, so... Blood on the table, place is a mess. So I don't know exactly what went down, but uh, this guy's dead, and I guess you don't need those buddies, so thank you. And we move on. Clock. Let's see if there's anything over here. Sure, awesome. Okay. Wait a minute, that card. Coast of Maine. There are clearly people here. So how 
often does this happen that these people aren't noticing or reporting this to the authorities or anything? Sit in their fancy chair. If you look out the window over here, you can clearly see that there are people living right off there, coast to Maine, but apparently they don't notice anything. Nature Shelf Ready Pilgrim. The binding are there as a safeguard. No, no, God damn it! Attention! Attention in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three, two, one. No! Attention! Attention! Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. does say a line from the original Bioshock, so if you have played it, hopefully you'll be able to kind of catch it. But you also do arrive, and you do go down kind of through like this, and then into kind of a loading dock in the original, but this one has a lot more to see and a lot more to do. over there in the suspenders kind of looks like a uh, certain person we'll probably see later on in another section of this game, but uh, keep them in mind. Till Judgment Day. I escape such questions to myself. 
unless I want to get made. Another theme you see throughout Colombia is the sword, the key, and the scroll, which you're going to see a lot of places that will try to point it out, but you also did see it when unlocking the light. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves. I really like putting out all these little candles. It seems like a nice touch that they added to the, um, if the to the programming for this section. And not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the sodden beneath us, but is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Newly come to Colombia to be warded clean. No, I don't watch Before them, watch their heads. Our really founders and our lord. I just need passage yeah. into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? It's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket. Might as well get it over with. Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah! Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, not gonna do it. Go away, Mr. Dewitt. Mr. Dewitt. priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. 